Welcome back, folks. I'm the Beard Venture. And I'm Lunchbox. And we have a special episode. Um, years ago, I introduced my buddy here to one of my favorite breweries, Innocent Gun. The and, rum cask. Yeah. One of the most beautiful beers I've ever had in my entire life. And since he became a big fan of the different Innocent Guns, according to their box, on a very expensive beer, which we won't get into how much we spent on this, this is their Apex. This is Vanishing Point. This is 01. He's going to read it while I pour it, but bear in mind, this is an 11% alcohol beer. All right, let's go. The Vanishing Point series is our apex, the point at which the skills and passion of wow. our brewers converge with our ambitions to create exceptional beers that define us as a company. That's really dark. This series will unlock a cache of small batch limited editions that are bold and pioneering that push the boundaries of what we do as far as we are able. Every ingredient is hand selected, the absolute best we can get, and chosen with only one thing in mind, flavor. There's gotta be a lot of flavor in that, look how dark that is. All right, the first in the series is a VP01, an imperial stout that we have matured in first fill bourbon barrels for six months. You know, they do that with the rum and there's another one that they do, another liquor barrel. And it, it infuses a, into it a flavor that I, it, it just has to be tasted. It, it is amazing. Now, the, the resulting beer is big and rich, bursting with flavor. Massive aromas of fresh ground coffee, dark chocolate, gorse, which we had to Google that. Turns out yeah. it's a shrub. Yeah, bring me a shrubbery. And vanilla. The, the taste is silky smooth, oaky, chocolatey with a nice palate fullness from the oak the finish is warming and full of vanilla okay first off i want everybody to be sure if you've had innocent gun you've had some of those and there's one of them they they, they marketed that they barrel aged for 77 days this one's 200. this is half a year now if you see the arms coming in I now have something new. We have a studio audience. Uh, and we had to pour them some to see what they think about this. But uh, this thing is going to be a beast. Everybody can smell it in the room. I, yeah, I can smell the vanilla right off the bat. I kind of smell the wood. Holy crap. Oh, oh I wow. just got chill bumps everywhere. Wow. That almost tastes like you took one of the barrel staves and just like squeezed it out. It is so full. It is so powerful. Oh it my is. gosh. But it's not a horrible flavor. It's like a really, really good flavor. It's not something you would dread. Wow. Nothing is overpowering. The, the stout is deliciously silky. You've got the oak... You've got that bourbon back end. The vanilla is enormous. But I mean, this is like a black Elvis velvet. You have to hold Black it. velvet Elvis painting. You have to hold it in your mouth for a little while to get the chocolate out of it. Yeah. And like once you've swallowed it, you still taste things even more. Lips are still tingling. This is <laughs> like absurdly the of my lips complex. Are still feeling it. And I've done quite a few innocent guns. Is that the 11%? Guns. <laughs> no, I, I don't know. I've done quite a few That's innocent 11%. guns. And all of them are complex. But this, I mean... That is one amazing beer. This is worth every bit of the almost $20 I spent on this beer. Um, to be honest, I questioned it a little bit. Now, I looked at the fact that this had to be, you know, a high alcohol beer and it was aged for half a year and it was sent to me from Scotland. You know, I added all these things up to go, okay, that might be why it has a high ticket. But then you always look at it as, is it worth that ticket price? That one is. This, yeah, this, <laughs> this is worth it. This, this is uh, so worth it. Yeah, if you want, if you want a, a good quality, 
uh, rare beer to have on the shelf to be, look what I got. This would be one to have. No, don't do that. <laughs> Keep the box on the shelf and say, this is what I drank. Right, right. And I have a bunch of cellared beers. I even have some mistakenly cellared beers. Uh, I moved around a lot for a while, and some beers just got put back and wound up in a closet. Uh, shit happens. Um, this beer is fantastic. And I'm looking at my studio audience thinking to try it, and uh, thumbs up over here, thumbs down. What do we think? Okay, we got a meh. And we got a yay yay. Okay, <laughs> awesome. Uh, all right. So uh, now that we've done gushing over this and made it sound like they paid us Ooh. to drink this beer, uh, it's time could to get paid start, to drink that beer. Right. It's time to start the rating system. And it goes. Did you dig it? Uh, oh, definitely. Yeah. Would yeah. you have another? Yeah. Oh, yeah. As many as you got. <laughs> okay. Now here is where it gets weird. Take Normally, all you got left. Normally we say, would you buy a six pack? It's obviously not available in a six pack. But I would. <laughs> um, and and yeah. bear in mind, this almost had a $20 price tag. If I see another one, I'm buying it. So that should let you know. So now let's go ahead and we'll rank this on our scale of one to 10, one being the lowest, 10 being the highest. Nine. Nine. All day long. Okay, now bear in mind, he doesn't drink a whole lot of beer. No, but that's a nine. All right. Now I'm gonna look over here at my studio audience and see uh, what they think. Wow. wow. One of my studio audiences says a five. And the other says an eight. Um, here's the thing. From me, this is a 10. Really? And I know, okay. And How many need, tens have you given out? I think this might be the two? third. Two that I know of. Is this this the third? may be the third yeah. I've ever done. Um, right. I haven't found that one yet. I haven't found that one particular one to give a ten to. I think I gave the the Infinium like a high nine. <laughs> yeah. Um, but but this this is a solid nine. This is amazing. Now, it it does. It's a good stout. It's a good barrel aged. It's it does everything that I wanted from it well. There's only one thing I could think to make it better. That'd be make it cheaper. So until your next beer adventure. Cheers. <laughs>